6.15 a.m. And I'm at the laundromat. Living that crazy bachelor boondocking lifestyle. Seventy two degrees at two forty four PM. Twenty four mile an hour winds with gusts up to thirty eight miles per hour. I need to figure out how to get a video and just make it look beautiful and block out the wind. <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Boom Docking with Dennis. So we're out here at South Point Circle, Cape Valero, not too far from where the house is with the, uh, that resembles a lighthouse. My friend Lisa pointed out to me that there was a fire out here. And there's the house right there. Um, fortunately, it was struck by lightning apparently. In that storm we had uh, two nights ago. And I could just find a little, a brief snippet of information online. Apparently three fire departments came out and uh, no one was injured. So that's a good thing. But yeah, the whole, whole top of that house is gone. It's a shame. They're not going to be able to save anything in there. I just hope no one was home at the time. I believe it happened early in the morning. Uh, so I'm filming this on Sunday. It would have happened early Saturday morning, I believe. That's when we got the worst of that storm where I posted the clips with the uh, thunder and lightning. It's a shame. Little horsey out there. About an hour before sunset. Cape Valero Road. He's just out there and enjoying himself. Don't we usually see two here? Or is that up the street a little further? I thought I would grab dinner tonight from Toscano Burgers and more. Barbecue tacos, drive through eat in 361-717-0915. It's on Market Street in Rockport, just off Highway 35. Uh, we've gotten food here from uh, before. It's kind of like a, uh, almost like a barn and you can drive through it and pick up your order. You can call ahead of time. You can order it and uh, wait. Uh, they recently had a loss in the family and uh, they could really use the community support. So uh, check them out. We've done videos from here before. I've always gotten good food, uh, friendly people. Let me show you what I got tonight. So this is their cheese steak and I asked for pickles and ketchup. So there's ketchup in the bag. There's a fork. We got some well done fries. And it looks like there's uh, green peppers and onions in there, which is fine with me. If you go to Philadelphia, you'd be lucky to find a place that could put green peppers in your cheesesteak. I don't know how that became a thing for the rest of the world, but uh, if they have a green pepper, in any place in Philly that sells cheesesteaks, um, it usually goes centerpiece on your salad that you order. But I've always gotten good food from here, very nice people, and uh, check them out if you're ever in Rockport. You can see the steam coming off of it is actually messing up the camera focus. Well, it appears we're gonna be shooting right into the wind. Wind is out of the west and 
Apparently the sun sets in the west. Who knew? <laughs> you ready for it? What's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Let's go with uh, Todd's dad joke calendar. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. <laughs> uh, I think we might get a sunset, guys. Not a whole lot of colors, but it'll definitely go below the horizon. I can, I can just about guarantee it. So the positive thing about boondocking has definitely been the people that I wouldn't have met. The people that I wouldn't have met through boondocking and the people that I met through my YouTube channel. I've got some of my best friends right now are people that I've met through YouTube. And I've gotten to meet a lot of people there's people that leave comments every day that I feel like are our family and I haven't got the chance to meet them yet. And some of them, I might never meet them, but I'm very fortunate getting the support that I get from people through YouTube. People in, uh, even people in town here that I never met before that I met through my YouTube channel or some people that I knew of in town and uh, now I consider them friends so it's been a really unique experience especially when you know I'm driving down the beach in Port Aransas making a video and I hear someone yell hey Dennis you know people recognize me <laughs> sometimes that's a bad thing I was in the the mail center a few days ago feeling bad uh, exhausted filthy dirty and I got the are you boondocking with Dennis <laughs> no no I'm not <laughs> it's uh it's not always fun being boondocking with Dennis. It's amazing that some people only know me as boondocking with Dennis. I've lived here for a, for a pretty long time. And there's people that don't know I lived here. They don't know I worked here. They don't know I have friends and family here. Uh, they just know me from my YouTube channel. And that's kind of neat, too. Met a lot of really nice, just super people. And some of the people that I consider my best friends that I've had in my life, I've, I've met through, through YouTube. There's a pelican out for a little late night hunt. Here comes someone ribbing. Got a hole in their muffler. <laughs> Probably intentional. And there she goes, guys. Another day in the books. Rockport, Texas. Home sweet home. I'm up here at Rockport Beach. End in the day. Not bad at all. hear a uh, great blue heron. I will swear I just heard Eugene squawk. <laughs> Wait and see if he does a flyby. I wonder if he's over uh, over by this car over here. Upset that he's not getting fed any fish. I wonder if he would like a cheesesteak from Toscano Burgers. Me 
maybe uh, maybe Eugene likes green peppers on his uh, cheese steak. <laughs> Probably going to catch some wind in the microphone, so I apologize. I'm just going to try to get you some water sounds. be honest with you guys I slept on and on off and on through most of the day wasn't feeling a hundred percent but I did get my laundry done this morning so uh, mission accomplished clean clothes now I need the wind to slow down a little bit so I can get uh, washed up and put some more of those clean clothes on <laughs> It was in the 70s today. It was funny. People were using their cars to block the wind, but laying out to get a tan. And uh, I think as I get older, I just don't handle cooler temperatures all that well. Who knew? Who knew? Hey, guys. Thanks for riding along today. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching.